Hello there YouTube! Welcome back to Sketchbook Habit Day 24, and today is going to be a fun, lighthearted, chill sketchbook session. I'm continuing to work in the Paul Rubens uh, mini watercolor sketchbook using 100% uh, cotton paper, and I'm working with quill brushes. Um, I'm not very, uh, how you say, well versed in quill brushes. Um, I just haven't really clocked in the hours in using them, but I have this little mug that I've just kind of collected over the past like year or two of like, I just think they're so pretty. <laughs> um, I have a few friends that use quill brushes and they totally rock them and I've asked for the, like their opinions on like, hey, which one should I buy and like what sizes and like all my friends like kind of chipped in and uh, so that's like the result of this little collection. Oh, I do want to say, um, disclaimer, FTC kind of thing, half of the jar I do think was gifted. Um, I believe two years ago, Silver Brushes donated a whole bunch of brushes for me to kind of give away on my YouTube channel. I think it was for celebrating um, how many followers? I don't know. <laughs> Any hoozles, they prepared me a giveaway gift and they also uh, selected me a few brushes that they thought I would like, which was so sweet. I was like, yeah, whatever you think works for me. And like, they really gave me a curated, thoughtful set of like, hey, I know you love watercolors. I know you love your round brushes. I think these will totally float your boat. But they also gave me brushes that were like, here's something to expand your horizon. And I believe the brush that I'm primarily using today, the Atelier uh, Squirrel Brush, Atelier, 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 atelier. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know I'm butchering that because I know I'm thinking about um, atelier uh, video games. Has anyone ever played those? I know that's a total tangent, but I'm really passionate about these games. It's like a time management game. Um, it's like magical girls. It's so cute. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, please google it. Like, uh, Rorona and, um, what was the one that was my favorite? Um, it was the Dusk series. Um, I haven't played many of them. I'm that person that will look into video games all day long and never get around to playing them because it's a commitment and I really don't have all the hours in the day to, like, really commit to a very lengthy game. Anywho, so it's totally off track. <laughs> So the brush that I'm hardcore crushing on today is the one that has like a copper wiring around the furl and um, I've been really ecstatic to use this brush. I think it's so attractive. I think it's a handsome brush. It's it's like dark, but it's instead of like, you know, silver accenting, it's just a little bit more sophisticated and I really do enjoy how it comes to a very nice tip. I think my first uh, time really using uh, a quill brush was one that I bought off Amazon. It was the Da Vinci Petit Gris, Petit Gris, G-R-I-S, I'm butchering that, it's squirrel. Um, Any hoozles, it was either a size 0 or 2. The sizing on quill brushes are inconsistent, uh, so it's kind of, yeah, fun. Uh, Any hoozles, I didn't really have the best, best experience with that, but at the same time, it was only like uh, a quick little session. I think I enjoy this brush more. Um, it could totally be a placebo effect too. Like this brush is beautiful. Of course I'm gonna think I'm gonna have a great time. <laughs> but uh, that's where I'm kind of my whole gist on art supplies that I really don't mind about the quality, like if, or how we should say, the cost. If it inspires you to paint, therefore it is a good art supply. So therefore in my book, I'm finding this, it inspires me to paint, so therefore it's a good art supply. I hope that roundabout was <laughs> uh, any hizzles. Let's talk about what's going on in the footage right now. So I know many of you have been asking me about a full-on review about the Magello watercolors, and um, I hear you. I've been, how would you say, a little burned out on them, so I wanted to take a, a step away break for a moment just to kind of, you know, collect myself and revisit. I felt like today was the day that I really wanted just to like, hey, let's just uh, get reacquainted again. Um, I think what's happening with these paints, so I think they're great in terms of saturation, pigmentation, vibrancy. I think they knock it out of the park. They're a little bit slow moving, so I have a little bit of footage of comparing it to the Daniel Smith uh, Quinacridone Rose PV19. and. You can kind of see like the Daniel Smith just flows a little bit better where 
the uh, Magellos kind of just sits on the paper and you kind of have to massage it to kind of move it to where you want it to. So I can see this being a pro for watercolor painters that don't really want their watercolors to just jump across the papers. They want to place it in one spot and know it's not gonna move very much. So I'm finding myself having to do most of my mixing on the palettes and um, if I ever want kind of some granulation, I kind of have to feed extra color and kind of mesh it around on the paper. Um, so yeah, um, I just gotta, I want to investigate that a little bit more. I really do enjoy the vibrancy I can get with this. Like for example, in today's painting, I felt like I was able to achieve a luminosity within the skin tones that was rather inviting and I felt like I was able to achieve that in the first layer rather easily and to me that's attractive, to me that's engaging and that's inspiring inspiring for me to paint with. Um, I do find myself having kind of a difficulty layering up with these watercolors that um, my edges get lost rather quickly, so I have to be rather mindful. Um, yeah, that part I'm still like trying to navigate because there are times I really love how that happens with the watercolors. For example, when I lay down my initial wash and I ever have hard edges, I can kind of scrub up that hard edge and soften it and then kind of reestablish some shapes. Like for example, in the beginning I applied my skin tones and I know I went outside of the lines, you know, around the nose, under the chin and on the neck, but when I applied the hair, it kind of dissolved some of those uh, harsh edges from that initial wash and then created a new one that framed her very nicely. I thought those those tones, the value, the contrast was just very appealing. It glowed. So I don't mind that it kind of lifts and kind of moves around because it sometimes works for my favor, sometimes does it. So that's why I mean that I need to work on it, that I need to master this a little bit more. With all of that said, I am really happy that I do have the Magellos. I feel like it really resonates with my style and um, I'm just that kind of painter that you can give me anything and I will make it work. So um, here I am making it work. Um, Any users about the artwork today, I felt that how saturated these colors are and how punchy they are, they allowed me to work in a manner that made my portraiture glow a little bit more. Like I'm very pleased with how today's portrait session went. Like right off the bat, my first few layers were just so solid. I believe I already mentioned this in previous uh, sketchbook habit videos about my intentions uh, as of recently, and that is I want to, you know, get looser with my artwork. I want to um, have more flow within my figures, but ultimately I want to draw cuter girls. I actually, <laughs> I don't know if I really did say that yet, but here I go again. Um, I really want to push how I capture girls. I really want to inject more spark into them and I feel like I tapped into that today and I'm really, really happy how I was able to kind of balance the soft glow but also a contrast and um, for me that can sometimes be a little bit challenging because there's a delicate balance of knowing when to stop. Uh, pushing certain value ranges and it's all about manipulating a value scale to kind of convey a certain feeling. So for example, I want to tap into that lofty, fluffy, kind of romantic style. It's a little bit more magical girl, a little bit more fantasy. I guess the best way to describe it is very manga-esque, um, like old school 1990s, like just um, traditional illustrations and I want that in my work so I I hope that made sense. I don't think I conveyed myself properly. I'm not really good with words. Um, I'm actually really shy about talking and um, you can even ask Mr. Honeyball. Back in the days I would ask him to proofread my posts. Even to this day I even ask him to proofread my patrons posts because uh, just writing grammar is not my forte. It's been embarrassing. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Well, yeah, before I take myself a hole. Any usuals, um, 
I'm happy where I went with today. There were moments of like, do I go further? Do I, uh, what do I do next? And there are certain points where I kind of just take a leap of faith and just like, hey, it's a sketchbook. Just try it out now, see where it goes. Like for example, I wasn't sure in this area where um, the hair and bangs, they, uh, like I mentioned earlier, my marks kept relifting really and I really enjoyed like the shapes I was putting down, like these really cool marks, they later on disappear. So I was just constantly re-sculpting and just figuring out. So in a way it was a blessing in disguise because I got multiple chances to figure out um, the value and the saturation of her bangs in a way that kind of made sense but wasn't heavy and uh, yeah so at some points you can kind of see me take a leap of faith and just started making looser marks and just trying to think less and just watch the paint do its thing so today was a rather enjoyable day I I slow down uh, since these paints don't really move very fast I got the chance to kind of shove it where I wanted it to and I really do enjoy the brush that I was using. I was able to get really fine little points, but at the same time, broad marks. So overall, today was rather successful. I got reacquainted with Magello. I I really do want to try more colors and see how Magello paints impact my style because I have a I've had a pretty good feeling about it. Okie dokie dear friends, it is time for me to go. Tomorrow is Friday. It's gonna be fun. I love spending my Fridays with you because it's a it's a nice way to end the week with great company and fun arts. So until then, I hope you have a lovely day. Keep on drawing. Uh, if you do like this series, please do give it a thumbs up and like this video because it helps me out a great deal. So I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Keep on drawing. Bye!